All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a PSA, public service announcement, because I've had this question now, um, literally in the last two months, about wiggies. Do you know what a wiggy is? I'm going to show you one that you may or may not have seen. Everybody knows. I'm going to put some pictures of the, the ones that everybody does know uh, up on the screen here right now. You can check them out. Um, these are just a couple different ones. Right here's one. You can see. And then here's an older one. And of course, the one that I have right now with me, I have all the ones that I just shown you. Yes, I have them all because over the years I've collected them. This is the one I use right now or have right now anyway. This is by KNOPP Incorporated. <sighs> this one, I love this one the best of all the ones that I have. Now, why do I like it the best? This is gonna be an informative video, so if you guys are really not interested in, in hearing this, I think that you need to hear it, but if you're not interested in hearing it, look down in the description for timestamps or just click off. Because if you've never used one of these, I'm gonna tell you some very important, very important stuff about this. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I just had a conversation literally two hours ago about one of these. Uh, a friend of mine, um, he doesn't know about them. And you know, you know how some electricians or people in general are, they don't want to tell you what they know because they're afraid you know you might overstep their boundaries or whatever. So me, I'd rather keep you safe and keep you alive so you can go home. And if I can help, even if it's so redundant or so stupid, at least you heard it again. So that's my mentality on this. So let's start. All right, this is a wiggy. A lot of older gentlemen call it a solenoid tester. Regardless, it is what it is. There's a lot of information on the front of this, which is important to read. I'm gonna read it, just a little bit of stuff, all right? It says voltage tester. It goes up to 600, this one, I'm not gonna say all of them, because you definitely gotta make sure you know your meters. But this one does up to 600 volt DC and 600 volt AC. All right, also it says, from 25 to 60 hertz. Now where I used to work, we had 25 hertz. Obviously, just about everything in the United States is on 60 hertz. Now, this is a Cat3 600 volt. I'm, I'm reiterating the 600 volt. I'm gonna tell you a story. Yes, this is gonna be a story. If you don't like it, like I mentioned, I'm sorry, it needs to be told. It also says 10 seconds on, five minutes off at 600 volt. You are listed, blah, blah, blah. I will leave a link down below to this particular one. This is the one that I like. It's streamlined, ergonomic, it's just what I like. All right, it also has down here, this is the K60 model, in case you didn't know, I probably didn't say that yet. Uh, on DC, red probe is positive or negative. It has a little window down here where my finger is pointing. All right. I'm not gonna go into extreme details on every little thing, only on the safety things, because this is the important thing that I always teach anybody that doesn't know anything about this. All right, let's start out with the voltage. All right, when you put this on hot neutral, which I'm gonna show you here in a few seconds, um, you know, it, it'll read. All right, one side is DC, one side is AC. You're gonna see the little bar go down, and it's gonna tell you where you're at. They're off-centered. As you can see, the 120 on the on your right, left, sorry, is up higher, and the other one is to down lower. So it'll distinguish whether it's AC or DC. Now, when you're using this, one of the main things I always stress because this is a story I'm going to tell you, or a couple stories, but this is one story that happened to me more than once. All right, when you take your leads out, make sure that they're not frayed, because that's important. All right, you want to take one. It doesn't matter which one. I don't care which one you take out, but it, most all of your wiggies has a little place to put your lead. So you only have to really worry about one lead, free lead. Now, will it come out? Sure. Well, it won't now, but it could. And it did for me. And I'm gonna tell you what happened. When I first started using these, this is how I would do it. I would hold this in my hand and do this. And I would, you know, check whatever I'm checking. 
we checked these with motors almost exclusively. Very seldom we checked 120 volt, unless that's all we had with us. We did it with motors, 480 volt motors. There's lots of things you can use this with. We're gonna get into that just a little bit down the road. But what I was doing one time is I was checking the motor. So I had my hands with no gloves on, which is a no-no, on a bucket. So I was in the hot and I went to touch this lead on my, this hand right here that's shaking. And my finger, this one is already on the hot of the top of the starter. And I went down to check the motor, see if it was grounded. Well, it slid in my hand and it caught my finger and it lit me up. Well, what did I do? Dropped this thing, so I'm not gonna drop it now, but I dropped everything straight in the ground. This thing will literally shock the crap out of you. I'm gonna show you here in a second. I'm not, I'm not gonna shock myself, but I'm gonna show you that you can put this lead or this lead, either one, into a hot and you can get voltage. The whatever voltage it's reading, up to 600 volts, remember, because that's important. And I'm gonna keep, I keep reiterating that because I wanna tell you, whatever voltage you're reading, it's, you're gonna fill it on this side, especially when you're grounded. Now, I'm not sure if I was grounded, it probably was, I don't know. But I know if you just grab onto this, it's still gonna bite you up. What you need to do when you use this, if you're checking a motor, checking a receptacle, get in the habit. Get in the habit of putting your lead in here. Now, you may say, well, if I stick it in a receptacle, right, and I go to pull it out, it's gonna come out. And it will. Put it in. I don't know which one you're gonna use, but all you need to do is take your cord, or your cable right here, and just hold it. So, it ain't coming out. It's like locked in there at that point, all right? You wanna make sure, it's just simple things. Just make sure you keep your hand on your lead. Make sure, that's why I mentioned when we first started this video, to make sure that your cable's not frayed because you don't wanna get yourself shocked because it sucks. Believe me, 277 sucks. Or 480, either one. All of them suck. 120 volt, nine volt. Keep your lead in your what? Wiggy. 600 volts, I keep mentioning it. Why do I keep mentioning it? Where I worked years and years ago, not this particular Wiggy, but a Wiggy like this, just a regular one. Somebody went to check 2300 volt starter with one. What do you think happened? Yeah, it blew up. It didn't kill them, but it blew up literally all over their hands, on their arms. I wasn't there, I didn't see it, but it's a story that we got told numerous times. I'm telling you guys, Make sure you know your voltages, all right? Make sure you know your voltages. It takes a second to get hurt and a lifetime to get over it, guys. Very important. Now, know your voltages. Wear your PPE, all right? Electricity is no joke, guys. Whether you're in a house or in a big industry. So, wear your PPE. If you're gonna go in there, wear your gloves. If your friends are going, huh, why do you gotta wear gloves? Who cares? Because when it blows up and you're safe, they're gonna be thinking, shit, I'm glad he wore his gloves. And now they'll think twice. Hopefully it will never happen to anybody, but I'm just letting you know. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about, when I read on this thing, it says 10 seconds on, five minutes off. I see people holding their wiggy. When this thing, if you just plug in like I'm gonna do here, it's not a big deal. But when you're on 480 and you're checking between A and B or A and C or B and C, whatever you're checking, okay? Whenever you're checking there, I see people holding it on there for a long time. Now, I don't see a lot of people doing it, but I've seen people and I'm like, hey, you need to take it off there. I've called out people. They're like, don't tell me what to do. I've been doing this longer than you. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But I said, there's a reading on here that you guys need to know. Apparently you didn't read it. Of course you get, you know, you stir the pot, but you also made that guy think, or girl, say, hmm, maybe I should read that. I guarantee when they do it again, they won't do it again. They'll hold it on there, they'll see what their voltage is, and they'll take it off. Now, I'm only telling you what it says five minutes off on 600 volt. You decide what you wanna do. I'm telling you, after you know your voltages, there's really no reason to reuse this again. I mean, especially if you're checking a motor. Now that's what I'm gonna go with next. 
you can check a motor with this. Now, I don't have a motor here. I'm at a house, obviously, right? But, you know, you can go to the top of your starter, and you can read, as long as your starter's not pulled in, you can read the bottom of your, of your motor leads on your starter. And if you go to A, and then you go to A or B or C, and it pulls this in at all, chances are your motor's grounded. All right. One more thing I want to tell you, a little story. Uh, I worked with a damn good electrician who said that wiggies were the death of electricians, that they should never use them. There's no reason any electrician should ever use a wiggy. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. These things have been around a long, long, long time. They are extremely useful. So, just know your limits. Know what you're doing. Know what voltages you have. Long, you know, in a house, you know, 240 is all you're going to have. But if, you know, you're in industry, you don't want to take this into anything over 600 volt. You don't. I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't even go 600 volt with it. I'd, I'd go to 480 and call it. Now, that's just my own personal opinion. You know, they make meters for other stuff like that, which I have right here, I'm gonna show you. But don't risk it, guys. It doesn't make any sense to hurt yourself. I'm gonna plug this black lead right here in this extension cord, and I'm gonna plug the red one in to the neutral or whatever. Either way, I'm gonna show you that this works. I'm gonna show you how it works, and then I'm gonna take only one side, leave it in the hot. I'm gonna take this lead right here, the one I told you could shock the crap out of you. I'm gonna put, and this is gonna sound very crazy, but I'm gonna to explain to you again. So this one's gonna stay in the hot. So this one will stay like this, and this one will be in the hot. So I changed my mind a little bit. And this one will be in the free air. I'm gonna take another meter, I'm gonna stick one lead into the neutral side, and I'll have two free leads. The lead that's on my other meter, and then this one right here, this one right here. And I'm going to show you the voltage, all right? This thing is conducting voltage. I'm also going to show you on a tick tracer. I want you guys to be careful, guys. It, it doesn't make any sense to get hurt. So we want to be extra careful because, like I mentioned before, I'm going to put this side in the neutral just because uh, I don't want to get shocked on this one, right? So I got it in there. Watch, watch right here and watch right here. I'm going to go to the opposite side. This is just an old extension cord here. Here we go. All right. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you see the, and can you hear it? Right now, I know it's, it's a mess here, but you know, this is my workstation. A lot, a lot of videos have happened, lots of videos. So we're gonna leave this like this, so you can see. Try to get it where you can see. I'm gonna plug this lead into the hot here all right so nothing's happening here no light on nothing's buzzing all right make sure it stays in good all right now i'm going to take this meter which is a detachable face meter fluke love this meter i'm going to take the face off and i'm going to lay it so you guys can see turn the light on all right I'm gonna pull it right here so you guys can see i'm going to take one lead and I'm gonna stick it into the neutral side, remember? And I'm gonna take the other lead, and I'm gonna touch it. Now, watch the face of this meter. See that? 120 volts. And all I did was come out of the hot, go through this solenoid tester, or wiki, come out the other side of this lead. So when you go to touch this, when you're plugged in, it's gonna zap you pretty good. Believe me. When you've got 277 and you grab the other end of this right here where I'm tapping, it's, it's nice. It will light you the hell up. So, you can see, here's the two fluke leads right here. And here's the two, this is the um, wiggy. It goes around, comes in, it goes back out, and comes right up into that lead right there. Now, if I was to touch that, it would shock the crap out of me. Now, I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to show you on a tick tracer. That I love so much. All right, still got everything plugged in. You see, I'm not no voltage, but when I touch it, boom. There's 120 volts sitting there waiting on you. So bottom line is this, guys. Trust your equipment. Okay, double check, triple check, do whatever it takes. Don't you guys like this fluke meter? I love it. I mean, let me just show you real quick because it's pretty badass actually. 
Uh, this is a 381. I mean, you can literally just detach it once you turn it on. Steps back on, boom. Amp meter. And that's what I used when I was in my industrial job, which I'm not there no more, thank goodness. Thank goodness. But anyway, you know, just be very, 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 very careful, guys. And like I said, know your equipment. Know what you're testing. Know what is behind the door when you open it. If it's 480, is it 277? Is it 208? Does that have a high leg? You know, is it is it 2300 volt? 4600. What is it? What do you got behind there? How do you know? You need to look. You need to make sure. You need to double check. I'm sorry this video is so long. But it is very important, guys, that you know what you're up against sometimes. Because I'm telling you, if you grab this meter, like I mentioned, plug in one side in and touch on the other, when it's hot, it will light you up. There was nothing on here, and you saw there was power going through it. All right? So it goes for your home, too. This will light you the hell up. This meter right here. Now, this one will not. I mean, you could touch the other side all day long. It won't do anything. I don't recommend it. I never recommend it. But I'm telling you, this one, yeah, it's going to happen. You're going to get shocked. So if you guys love to learn about tick tracers and meters and testers, I have got a damn good video that you need to check right here. Click on that video. You will learn about the best circuit finder that I have used yet. I'll catch you in that video. Make sure you click there. God bless, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Be safe. Have a great day.